chapter nine, rhythms originating in the AV junction. How are you guys doing tonight? AV junction rhythms are rhythms that occur around the AV node in the um, between the uh, right atrium and the right ventricle. Junctional rhythms are the electrical impulse uh, generated by the AV junction when it flows backwards or retrograde to depolarize the atria, and it can also flow forward and depolarize the ventricle. If the junctional impulse reaches the atria, the ventricles, and the ventricles at the same time, the atrial contraction and T wave will be hidden within the QRS. We see here where we can't distinguish our P wave before the QRS because it's hidden. Characteristics of a junctional B, you'll have an inverted P wave if the atria is depolarized first. If the ventricle is depolarized first, then the P wave is going to be after the QRS. And if they depolarize simultaneously, then the P wave is going to be hidden within the QRS. Junctional rhythms originate in the AV node. Your rate with junctional rhythms are going to be uh, between 40 and 60 or slower. The rhythm's usually regular and your QRS is usually normal. Premature junctional contractions are early beats that originate in the AV junction as a result of increased automaticity within the junctional cell. Here's an example of a premature junctional contraction in which you have uh, the inverted or retrograde uh, P wave. Then you have your accelerated junctional rhythm with a rate of 61 to 100 beats per minute. With your accelerated junctional rhythm, your P wave can be absent, inverted, buried, or retrograde. And a clinical tip here is to make sure you're not just uh, looking at the EKG machine, but you're also monitoring the patient for any uh, clinical symptoms. Okay, here we have an a illustration of the different junctional rhythms and their characteristics. Types of junctional rhythms. So your junctional rhythm itself is going to have a, a rate between 40 and 60 beats per minute. If it's an accelerated junctional rhythm, it will have a rate of 60 to 100 beats per minute. And if it's junctional tachycardia, it'll have a heart rate above 100 beats per minute. So here's your second assignment with uh, AV junctional rhythms. State the criteria for junctional rhythms. Now you don't have to uh, state the criteria for each individual junctional rhythm yet. Just state the general criteria for a junctional rhythm um, itself, okay? And you can find that in your text. And I will see you guys next lecture.